Hey, hey, Aries, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your October Health, Wealth, and Abundance reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we'll dive into the collective energy of Aries. And as you can see, I have already pulled the cards here so we can dive into each category of, again, health, wealth, and abundance. So please do see the disclaimer in the description box below. And for those of you that are interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links, Aries, in the description box below. So right away, we're gonna dive into the category of health and your third eye chakra is illuminated. Now this is the area between uh, the eyebrows in the mid center forehead region. This is all about your perception, your awareness, your communication to the divine, to spirit. So some of you may be at times feeling a little bit of pressure coming in, whether it's a full blown headache uh, turning into migraines at times or just a little bit of pressure on that third eye center that may be spirit trying to get your attention uh, for you to become more aware. Uh, this can also be ringing in the ears. It can be about uh, the eyes and even the nose as well as that head region. When this third eye tends to be blocked, we can manifest physical illnesses or symptoms as well. But please do seek a medical professional if need be. Now, they're giving me the feeling of water in the ear. Now, I don't know if this is for some of you. Possibly it could last a day. Maybe it is an ear infection, uh, but it's some sort of water or draining uh, or just feeling like the ear may be clogged. So please take that as it resonates. Uh, now, this is all about what it is that you want to manifest regarding your goals. Do you see yourself uh, in a positive outcome, if you are looking to lose weight or gain weight, if you are looking to cut out maybe sugars, processed foods, or alcohol, do you see yourself succeeding in that area? If you are looking to bring about less stress areas uh, with this heart chakra area as well, are you seeing yourself doing things and taking steps that bring more joy, pleasure, and positivity to your life? So again, this third eye chakra is about you seeing beyond just what's right in front of you. Now you have the two of wands showing up. So I really like this because I feel like you are in that planning stage. You're figuring out your goals, your next step in order to bring about more uh, vitality to your energy, to all of your chakras, not just your third eye chakra, but the third eye is allowing you to open up and see things from a different perspective. Now some of you may be uh, going through a recovery process, whether it is recovery from something toxic that you're walking away from. It could be healing the heart. Maybe you're walking away from a person. It could be a place, a thing. It could be a situation that you've uh, endured that was toxic because we do have the eight of cups showing up. So I certainly feel like you're leaving something behind because you're walking towards better health. You're walking towards your nine of cups, your wish fulfillment. Now, when this two of wands shows up here for you, Aries, this is about you making that decision on what your vision looks like and what steps you can take to incorporate that into your world. If you're looking to lose weight, are you taking the steps to buy the right foods that are good for you or to sign up for that gym membership? Uh, if you are looking to Walk away from a company that is taxing on your mental health. Are you applying for new jobs? Are you staying optimistic? Are you staying positive? Do you see yourself in the future having a new job or are you feeling stuck with where you are at? They're showing me that some of you may be recovering from, it could be a, a cold, something with the upper respiratory here. Uh, for others of you, this could be surgery or it could be getting a cast off. They're also showing me something with the mouth. Now, even though we're talking about the third eye, it can affect other chakras, other regions. Now, there may have been something with a tooth abscess or a tooth pain as well is what I am sensing here for you. But I feel like you're on the road to recovery because you have the eight of cups and you have the three of wands next. So you go from the two of wands to the three of wands. But first and foremost, there's something that you're leaving behind, whether it's the pain whether it is, again, a situation, a person, a, a place, a habit, a pattern, an addiction, whatever this is, you know that it's no longer serving you, Aries. So you're leaving this behind because you know that whatever this is, it's not good for your mental, 
physical, emotional health. And you're walking towards something greater. You're walking towards your healing is what I see here for you. Now you have the three of wands, which is beautiful because you're taking the lead. You are taking control and taking back your own health. Uh, there's a new sense of vitality here. There's a new sense of passion. I feel like there's something that has sparked your interest. There's something that you finally are seeing the results for, and it's allowing you to keep moving forward in a productive way. So if you've been on a health journey for quite some time and you've been trying to lose weight, you may find yourself uh, fitting better into your jeans, uh, or you may notice that you've dropped some pounds or you're just feeling more toned or you have more energy in the physical. So I do feel that you will start to see results and that's going to motivate you to move forward. Now, if this happens uh, in your career, perhaps you have some health goals regarding mental health and you're feeling physically exhausted. Some of you are going to see that you have a new sense of energy, especially as we come out of retrograde here. Uh, I feel like you're going to finally move forward. Forward. This is about return on your investments here, staying optimistic, staying patient, because a lot of you had to stay patient uh, in a health situation or crisis here. But the big, it, big important message for you is don't take your eye off of the prize, whatever that prize is for you when it comes to your health, because something is paying out and panning out in big ways here for you. So I love this. Your final card when it comes to health for October is am I consistently showing up? And I feel like this is something you are doing more so. And it says some trade their dreams for comfort, yet comfort is the enemy of progress. Success requires showing up every single day, even when you don't feel like it, and even when it feels uncomfortable. It takes guts and an endless vision to stay consistent to your dream. I love that. An endless vision here that aligns perfectly with that third eye chakra. So your soul action, Aries, is journal where you can be more consistent in your life in alignment with your goals, your health goals, and then show up. So definitely keep that vision open, see yourself succeeding, see yourself doing good in whatever area that you would like to heal or to move on from, because it certainly looks like you have what it takes. I mean, literally you're going from that two of wands to the three of wands and the eight of cups in the middle says you're walking away from the things that are holding you back from those health goals. I do sense for some of you, there may be professional help, whether this is a rehab specialist, or this could be physical therapy, or it could be a therapist, counselor, mentor, coach, or guide, uh, whether this is you yourself, uh, that you may be stepping back and taking a look at your own mental health, because you may help other people in those areas, or this is about you seeking out professional guidance as well. But I feel like you're finally showing up for yourself. You have been, Aries. I feel like you have been taking baby steps, but a lot of you are gonna see some really big changes when it does come to your health in the month of October, and I feel it's a change for the better. All right, wealth. Let's take a look at wealth. You have the wings showing up in the category of wealth. Now, this is more than just uh, financial. This can be emotional wealth as well. Uh, but usually those two happen to go hand in hand because net worth equals self-worth and vice versa. When we're feeling good about our health and we're feeling good about our surroundings and what's going on, we tend to attract more financial wealth as well. And this is all about rising above money issues. If those of you have been uh, dealing with a health, serious health issue, or even a health issue where you've had to uh, release some of your finances to healing an area here, I feel like you're starting to get back on track. This is about, could be your business taking off, it could be a new career option I am seeing, or you're profiting from investing in the right things. This is about spiritual work as well. Some of you are spiritual teachers, counselors, you are living out your life purpose. Uh, for others of you, you are on a mission, a mission to bring about more emotional and physical wealth to your world. You're definitely rising above money issues because you go here from the five of cups. This is about changing your focus, which is interesting because you have that third eye chakra in the health. And the reason why I do these health, wealth, and abundance readings is because people don't realize that 
it's all energy and energy is connected, especially when it comes to our health and our wealth. Those are two almost uh, matched or paired type of energies here where one works with the other. And the Five of Cups says that there are new opportunities coming in to your world if you change your focus. If you see that glass is half full versus half empty. If you stay optimistic about situations. And some of you are saying, Melissa, it's easier said than done, right? I've tried to stay optimistic. I've tried to do this. I've tried to heal. I've tried to find uh, this new direction. But sometimes, Aries, we have to go through those challenges to grow, to learn, to evolve. Sometimes we feel like we're taking five steps back or we have a health crisis or a financial crisis that pulls us back. But it's still part of the divine plan. It's still part of your soul's purpose here. And I feel like you may have, may have felt like you've lost your footing here. You may have felt the disappointment or felt a little bit betrayed because you weren't necessarily moving forward where you wanted to move forward. But I see that changing for you because you have learned some deep lessons regarding uh, regarding loss, disappointment, or setback. For some of you, you may have applied for a new job or a position and you didn't get it. It's because here, I feel like there's a better a better way, a better opportunity coming in for you. And again, always remember Aries, rejection is God's protection. So certain things that don't show up for you, it wasn't meant to be, it's not aligned. Uh, there could be though something coming back around that maybe it wasn't the right time. Perhaps you weren't ready on that health level. Perhaps you weren't, uh, you weren't embracing the opportunities that were at hand because sometimes we focus so much on what we've lost or the negative thinking or the limiting beliefs that we don't always see what's right in front of us at times. But the good news is when it comes to your wealth, I do see that uh, you're healing. You have the star card showing up here. This is about positivity, peace, not giving up on those dreams because remember right here that eight of cups is walking straight towards the nine of cups and that is wish fulfillment, that is dreams. So whatever you are doing, if you are aligned with your soul's purpose here, if you're doing some sort of spiritual work, now some of you are saying, well, Melissa, I work in a big company or I work maybe uh, as a waiter, a waitress, or I'm trying to dive into my, my mission of being an actress or an actor. This is all your spiritual work. Whatever you're doing right now, even if it doesn't seem to be on that spiritual realm or that spiritual side, that's okay, Aries, because you still are learning. You're still evolving. And I feel like your emotional wealth and your financial wealth is starting to really come together because we do have the Eight of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands talks about success and growth. So in October, I feel like you are going to hear some sort of a message that you've been waiting for. They're giving me, uh, could be email or even a phone message for some of you. There could be a great deal of activity here. If you're going in for a raise, a new job offer, some of you have already received a job and you'll start or you've already started here in the month of October. But I do sense that uh, there's going to be a hustle and bustle of energy here. And at first, it may seem, wow, things are happening quite quickly, but you will be able to balance everything quite well. This is the card of success and growth. And I love it because, again, you're going from that two and the three of wands, which you have an eight here, and you also have an eight in your wealth. And eights are all about power, authority, strength, control, and speed. So things are going to start speeding up here for you, Aries, when it comes to your finances. Things are going to start to grow uh, because you can see that there is a tree behind him and there are sprouts and the sprouts are actually taking off quite well. So I feel like it's not just one area of your wealth. Some of you have many, many opportunities that are showing up for you that you can grow at this time. If this is a new business opportunity, you, excuse me, you do have your business taking off. If this is a real estate, if this is possibly some sort of inheritance or they're just showing me someone handing uh, an envelope or it could be handing a bonus or a contract over to you at this time to be signed. Uh, if this has to do with your finances, I feel like your finances again are going to multiply or going to grow. And when it comes to your money matters, you're certainly going to be quite successful here. Uh, I would say here, especially between the eighth 
and uh, the 18th, there's going to be some change. But by the 28th, they're showing me uh, a, a large amount of money. Some of you may get it in a, a lump sum. Or some of you may be getting a paycheck on that date. I'm not sure what date that is. But I feel like there is uh, money coming in for you that may actually multiply. Now, your final card here regarding wealth is, where am I called to use my voice right now? And it says, you have a soul script that was written to be spoken. Your story matters and it's time for you to share it with the world. Today's soul action for you, Aries, when it comes to wealth is share your story with at least one person today. Be brave and speak your truth. Your voice will be the catalyst for healing in others. Yeah, some of you had to speak up in a career setting or in a workplace. Some of you it was speaking up to maybe a family member who owed money. Or it could have been speaking up for yourself when you felt like you were not fairly compensated. For others of you, this is about opening up that throat chakra, keeping those lines of communication open between you and your clients or you and your patients. Uh, this is about you speaking words of compassion and they're giving me the word forgiveness for some of you. I mean, that totally doesn't go with what we're saying here, but I feel like some of you may have needed to forgive a situation or a person that had maybe didn't believe in you or didn't believe that it was possible to rise above or to do what it was that you wanted to do. And I feel like you're letting that go. You're walking towards things that are more fulfilling. Some of you are walking towards a career that is more fulfilling, that gives you more options as well because you have that Eight of Cups. So you may be in a career uh, path here where it's not fulfilling, you've hit a glass ceiling or you're not making the amount of money you would like to make here. I feel like you are speaking up for what it is that you want. If you're not being compensated, you may be saying to your boss, this is what I need. If you're not willing to give me what it is that I'm worth, I may need to look elsewhere or seek elsewhere. Or some of you are putting in a resignation this month uh, or you are speaking up to an audience. I'm hearing public speaking or some of you may be uh, at the head of a company or a CEO where you may be speaking to other people. Uh, they're also telling me that some of you may be getting a second interview or even a third interview uh, where you may need to really use your voice, capitalize on those strengths and highlight the weaknesses in a positive sense here. So beautiful energy showing up. Aries, I feel like October is going to be a very blessed month for you. Now in the area of abundance, we actually have the law of attraction showing up here. I love this card because it says abundance mindset in your uh, in the card here. So when this shows up, this is all about law of attraction. This is about manifestation, positive affirmations, magnetic energy. It would be a perfect time for you, Aries, to create a vision board or to set new goals, which you have that third eye chakra showing up here for you. So what you focus on, you're going to grow. You're going to multiply, especially with this eight of uh, wands here for you. This success and growth is yours if you focus on what it is that you want to manifest into your life. Now, you actually have really beautiful cards when it comes to abundance. Now, when we think of abundance, this is a surplus or uh, more than enough of what it is that we would like to have in our lives. And uh, for everyone, it's going to look different. Abundance can be an abundance in friends, in family, in love, in health. Uh, it can be in finances. It can be having food in our fridge. It can be having gas to fill our tank if we have a vehicle. This is all about having an abundance in the universe providing, but also because we're staying positive and we're giving gratitude and thanks. But you have new vitality showing up here for you. This is the ace of wands. You have the ace of wands, the two of wands, the three of wands, the eight of wands. So there is a lot of inspiration for you in October. There's a lot of creativity, a lot of passion, and there's a spiritual force working behind you when it comes to your projects, your career, your uh, vitality here. So pay attention because you're going to be chasing some sort of dream, some sort of abundance, and I feel like you will be successful. You're being creative. You're setting goals. You are feeling a new sense of purpose or passion or feeling like you finally have a reason to move forward in a positive new direction. So there's a new beginning showing up here for you in whatever area you would like to be more abundant in. 
your next card, which, wow, beautiful, you have the sun. This doesn't get any better than that here. This is all about abundance. It's literally the card of abundance. And I did pull cards here, uh, which I don't always do, but when it comes to different uh, categories, health, wealth, and abundance, to dive into your reading, I did pull prior. Uh, but when I seen this card come up, I just, it flows beautifully with the energy. And there's going to be a lot of abundance. And if you're looking at abundance regarding career and finances, it looks to be really good for you, Aries. Uh, this is the card of money and good health and success and feeling like life is finally moving forward and enjoying the moment. Don't wait for the moment to get pulled out from underneath you or the other shoe to drop. Just enjoy this blissful state of mind regardless of how long it lasts because this uh, is a, a feeling that we internally can grasp, we can hang on to for as long as we can. But as you are well aware, Aries, life happens and things go up and they go down. And that's that wheel of life, right? And I feel like this month that wheel is spinning in your favor and it's time to really enjoy the moments that are showing up. Your heart is illuminated, your solar plexus as well. So you're feeling confident about the direction you're going. Next, we have the Two of Pentacles. This is finding balance. This is multitasking. Some of you may be comparing. It could be between two vehicles that you're looking to purchase. It could be comparing houses. It could be comparing jobs. Uh, or it's just about you being able to do many things at once. When the Two of Pentacles shows up here, this is about you staying calm regardless of what's going on around you and you coming up with good solid sound decisions because you are going back and forth and you're in a place of good mental health especially towards the end of October where you're feeling good about the decisions that you make and you can see here that there is balance on this wheel and there is uh, timing, there is a book, there is love, there is growth, uh, there is a cup here. So whatever you are doing at this time, I feel like you are evenly splitting your time between the things that are very, very important to you and you're able to multitask and blend them well. And if you need a little bit of extra help, that's where this professional guidance comes in or even asking a friend or asking a loved one or a child or a partner, can you help more around the house so I can focus on this piece of my business or uh, you know, can you set up plans for Sunday for the family to go on this trip or whatever this is for you, I feel like there's plenty of help and you will be able to balance out this busy energy just fine. And lastly here, Aries, uh, I did pull a card from a new deck here. It is uh, Work Your Light and I will put it in the description box below here. Uh, very beautiful energy. Uh, it's Work Your Light Oracle Cards. And the message for you is the priestess, the priestess energy. And it says, how are you being called to step up and lead? And this is the highlight here of your energy. How are you being called to step up and lead? It's time. You literally have take the lead when it comes to your health. You have success and growth when it comes to your wealth. And then in the area of abundance, I mean, the Ace of Wands mixed with that sunshine, Aries, your reading can't even get better, any better than this. I don't even see any negative cards besides uh, the Five of Cups where you, if you change your focus, which with the surrounding cards, I see that you're going to change your perspective into, again, that glass half full versus half empty. You've allowed yourself a grief. You've allowed yourself to maybe, uh, at times we tend to cry over spilled milk, but you're not sitting in that energy any longer. You're saying, you know, I'm picking myself up. I know that I need to consistently show up for myself. I need to use my voice here and I'm being called to step up and lead. And that's what you are going to do, Aries. So very powerful reading for you. I hope this resonates. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thank you so much, Aries. I'm sending all of you beautiful souls tons of love and light.